All right. <laughs> well, we are in the middle of winter, but that is no reason not to have a carnival. And this week, the City Harvest Winter Family Carnival is bringing games, crafts, really good food to Midtown. Really good food. <laughs> and all this fun is benefiting a very good cause. Joining us now to tell us more are Mark Glosserman and I love this name, Ash Folk from <laughs> Hill Country Barbecue, one of the restaurants featured at the carnival. Welcome. Is, is this why it smells so good, Ash? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna make some good stuff today. Woo! We're gonna make some chili. Right. But let's talk about the carnival of what, what's happening yeah, at the so carnival. It's really Harvest. a big family event. Yeah, so City Harvest is gonna be hosting their first ever family oriented event. It's the winner family carnival and it's going to be uh, right near Times Square at a great event space called Canvas this coming Wednesday, uh, February 12th from 4.30 to 8 o'clock. Um, tickets are still available. City Harvest um, is, a, is a food rescue organization. They're going to rescue about 66 million pounds of food this year and that's going to get distributed to soup kitchens and food pantries in New York to feed about 1.2 hungry New Yorkers, 1.2 million hungry New Yorkers. Um, and so we're excited to be supporting them. Yeah, I got to tell you, yeah. uh, you want to stress the family part of it, too. There are a lot of fun things for kids to do at the festival. So the family part of this is, so the family, so there's going to be games, there's going to be crafts, there's yeah. going to be a hot chocolate bar, we're going to have virtual reality, there's going to be a papa shot. It's going to be really fun cool. for, for kids of all ages, and uh, it's great to get family involved because a lot of people don't know that almost one in five kids in New York don't oh, know where cool. their next meal is going to yeah. come from. So um, great way to have fun with the family and to support City Harvest. Yeah. And your restaurant's going to be one of the restaurants that's going to be showcasing there. That's and right. Ash, you're going to show us actually one of the things that you love to make there, which is chili. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about chili today. I mean, we're a Texas barbecue restaurant, mm -hmm. and if Texas barbecue is the soul of Texas, chili's its heart. So we're going to start <laughs> with uh, making a very simple, easy chili here. It's a classic bowl of red, and it starts with a little bit of onions, as just about every great recipe does. Now, we've browned some uh, chopped meat before, which you would normally use that to sort of make the chili, but just in the interest of uh, TV magic, <laughs> we're going to start with just sauteing some onions. Now, the other part, important part about chili is the chili powder. Mm -hmm. Now in Texas, every chili mother that makes chili is very interested in how they make their chili powder. And as you can see, we've got a lot of different spices here and a lot of different types of chili. So you really should build your chili powder, not from the McCormick spice mix, but you want to build your chili powder from your own thing. Like this is a bunch of toasted guajillos right here. So we like toasted a little what? guajillo chilies. That's these guys right here. Ah. They're nice and bright red and beautiful. They're, they're delicious little chilies. Don't have a lot of heat, but they have that deep, rich chili flavor that you love. Mm. This is a little bit of ancho chili powder, which is like a smoked chili, which I personally love. And this is just a little bit of chipotle chili powder. So we have a little bit of that. We love a little bit of Mexican oregano. That adds that like depth that you really like. And the nice thing is, yeah, you smell that? Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah, you really A little do. garlic powder. And so this is a way that each chili maker can make their chili super unique and make it very, very tasty. But, man, I, but you're just kind of eyeing this. Well, I've been comes, doing. I've been making chili a long time. But it's, it's from pro. experimentation and and knowing what you're the the. It's from experimentation, but it's also from if you start from a great place of love uh -huh. and you want to make something delicious, you already know the recipe, right? <laughs> That's our recipe for television. That's exactly. Right. You just start with a little bit of love, and if you guys just want to give that a nice little smell, you mm. start to smell. Oh the my beautiful. gosh, that smells great! Exactly. You get a lot of light Chili. flavor. So we're actually <laughs> going to take this and we're going to toast it into the onions a little bit, a good healthy amount. Right, okay. and now we've got this toasting. It's going to give us some nice flavor. It's going to do what's called blooming the spices. Uh -huh. so it's going to bring out all that beautiful flavor, right? And we're going to toast that up. We're going to add a little bit of tomato paste, and we're going to make sure the heat's working. Great. Is this, is this going to be a spicy, spicy chili? Uh, this particular one's going to be a little spicy. We're okay. doing actually three different chilies. Oh, okay. This is probably our spiciest, which is a bowl of red. We also have a pork verde we're doing this month. And we also have a chili that's made with a lot of guajillo mm -hmm. um, that we're calling our San Antonio chili, which is like the classic chili from turn of the century. Now, when you're at the winter, when you're at the festival, though, yeah, mm -hmm. are you going to have it made or are you going to be making it there? Oh, we're going we're gonna to have everything made when we get to the festival. And we've made, because it's for the kids, we've made mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little bit of pulled barbecue. Oh. Oh, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna lean yeah. towards cornbread because oh, we yeah. want to make sure it's very family friendly at that festival. Right. And there's gonna be a lot of great restaurants mm -hmm. that are gonna be yeah. successful. And they're gonna be doing amazing stuff. So one thing that's important that I love in Texas is it's not Texas without a little Texas beer. <laughs> so we take a little bit of the beer just to deglaze the pan and get, really bring out all that chili flavor. This is tomatoes that we've canned with jalapenos, mm. um, and we use this. Uh, you may know it as Rotel. <laughs> We use that to get us started. And then what you're gonna do is wow. add in this Texas sausage, which we get shipped in from Kreitz Market from Texas, which has been has a little bit of jalapeno and cheese, just a classic sausage. And as you can see, there's no beans in this chili. 
There's no beans in any chili, in my opinion. Really? <laughs> yes. You know, my wife has been adding sausage to chili lately. It's the, lately, it's and the it really, best way. Yeah, it's different texture and... A different texture, different mm -hmm. depth. You're going to yeah. get all that extra flavor. You're going to get a beautiful chili. And then the key to chili is really letting it cook for a long time, right? Not two minutes on TV. Not two minutes on TV. Right. So you let it braise, you let it cook for a long time. So what's a long time? So mm -hmm. I would let this boil away for a good hour, like nice Ooh. and low, hour and a half, depending. Mm -hmm. And as you let it cook, you're going to get that caramelization from the tomato. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that beautiful thing. And if you grab that, beautiful. Yeah, this is the final. Now, this is hot, so you're going to go for this, John. Okay. I'm not a spicy. It's got a little spice to it. Yeah, I wouldn't, if you're not too spicy, don't go for it. My personal way I love chili is using tortilla chips and just mm. making like a chili nachos. Yes. Which is one of my absolute favorite things. We also brought a little queso to go along with that. Ooh. I'm going to try this one because this is when it is Cindy. a, a non-spicy chili. I would try this it is not one. that. Yeah. This is not this too one? spicy yeah, for that, even you. Yeah. I'm scared. Mm, I'm this scared. is good. No, this you don't want to eat it too spicy. Mm. That's what's the beauty of making your own chili powder. You get delicious. to control your heat, right? Ooh. Well, it's for a great cause. I feel bad. Uh, you got to have some of this <laughs> chili, too. I get to eat it all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have it all month long in Hill Country. Yeah. So. Thank you so and much. And the City Harvest Winter Festival uh, Carnival mm -hmm. is Wednesday, coming up, February 12th from 4.30 to 8 o'clock in the evening. Great time mm -hmm. for the kids. For more information, please visit CBSNewYork.com.